I take it you want him, not me. Right, I'm off. Catch you later. Wasn't sure if I was going to find you in a deep embrace with Lydia. Not now, Daisy. I'm not in the mood. Right. Well, I did come to check you're OK after David giving you verbal, and clearly you're fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you, then? OK? No, not really. Well, at least you've got a nice devoted girlfriend who will pat you on the head and tell you she believes you. Look, if you're going to be like that, then I think you should leave. If I don't, will you push me? Why are you even here? Anyone would think you're obsessed with me? Please. I came out of genuine concern. Well, it doesn't feel genuine. It feels about as fake as you. Only woman I know who checks the lighting level before she leaves the house. Like people are going to see you on a cloudy day and think you look less attractive. Oh, that is rich coming from you. The guy who is so obsessed with looking smart that he irons his underpants. So I like to look nice. What is the big deal? It's infuriating. Oh, Instagram friendly food. When you ask for it in a restaurant, you don't look cute, you sound ridiculous. Oh, I sound ridiculous. Yes. I am not the one that quotes books just to make other people feel stupid. No, I don't. Yes, you do, because it makes you feel all big and powerful. What's the matter? Little Daniel not work unless you're quoting Chaucer. And while we're on the subject of books, announcing time for the prologue before foreplay is such a turn-off. Well, so is watching you take endless photographs of yourself in your underwear that no one's ever going to see. I've never known anyone look in a mirror as much as you. It gives me confidence. Oh, yeah, because you're so lacking in that. Do you know what your problem is, Daniel? Not you! Not anymore! I already feel sorry for the next guy that you try and leech off. And there it is. You know, I came here because I care. I wish I didn't, but I do. What do you want from me, Daisy? You? I just... I wanted you. from your sister's store. And no, she did not give me a discount. She's not got a good word to say about anyone, has she? I love it. She's an acquired taste. So I heard about you and Lid Lobs. That didn't take long. Poor old Lid Lobs. Stop saying it like that. It's a childhood nickname. It's fascinating. So, Lid Lobs told Carla. Carla told Jenny. Jenny told me. And your knee bone's connected to your thigh bone. I call it a day. I'm trying really hard to do a sad face. <laughs> She'll be okay. It's not that. Crawshaw called me into her office. Why? That Mad Max kid has ruined your career. No, 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 he hasn't. She still believes it was an accident. Okay, well, that's great. Why aren't your dad dancing and cracking open an IPA? <laughs> Because I lied. I lied. I did push him. Hey, you all right? Hey. Uh, I've got to go. I'll come with you. No, it's, it's all right. I'll see you. Cheers, Dave. 